Hey, it's Miss Murphy. Today we're going to be looking at a non-fiction book all about animals and how they're adapted to living in their habitats. And it's called Big Ears and Sticky Fingers. If anyone's been watching Primates on BBC, there's some animals in here that you might recognise. So here is the contents page. Staying alive. If it is cold, you can put on a coat. If it is hot, you can take your jumper off. But animals can't change their clothes to match the weather. They need special features to help them stay alive. The place where they, where an animal lives is called its habitat. The animals in this book live in some of the toughest habitats on earth. Can anybody remember what continent we live on? Yeah, you're right, we live in Europe. So can anyone think of an example of a habitat where an animal might live? Yep, you're right. So the examples we've got here are rocky mountains, cold mountains, seaweed, rainforest, which we were looking at last half term, if you remember, sandy desert, freezing ocean, swamps and marshes, stormy coast and tundra. Big ears. The sandy deserts of North Africa are baking hot in the day. There is very little rain. So how does this fennec fox survive? Where in the world? So the location is a sandy desert in North Africa. So its habitat is a desert. What is a desert like? Yeah, you're right. So it's hot, dry and sandy. Have a look at the fox. What sort of adaptations do you think the fox has? To help it survive in the desert. Yeah, so it's got sand coloured fur for camouflage and it's got really big ears. The fennec fox is about the size of a cat with enormous furry ears. Why do you think its ears are so big? It's because the fox loses heat through its ears and this helps to keep it cool. Big ears are also brilliant for listening out for prey. Can you think of any other animals? that have got really big ears to help it to keep it cool. Yeah, so an elephant's got massive ears to help it keep it cool. Wild fact, fennec foxes have furry feet so they can walk across hot sand without burning their toes. Oh my goodness, it looks like me when I've just woke up. Sticky fingers, a strange looking animal lives on the island of Madagascar. It has Big ears, large front teeth and long thin fingers like sticks. It is called an eye eye. The eye eye is nocturnal. What does nocturnal mean? Yeah, so nocturnal is when an animal sleeps during the day and is active at night. It lives in the rainforest. It taps on a tree with its thinnest finger and listens for the hollow burrows of insect grubs. Then it chews a hole in the bark sticks its thinnest finger in and pulls out a juicy grub. So can anyone remember where the eye eye was from? Yeah, so its location is Madagascar and that's in Africa and its habitat was a, uh, yeah, a rainforest and rainforests are warm and wet. So let's remind ourselves how an eye eye is adapted. So it's got big ears, it's got big front teeth, to chew a hole in the bark and it's got long thin fingers so it can poke through the hole and pull out juicy grubs. Snow White. It is cold and snowy in the tundra but the snowy owl feels at home. How do you think the snowy owl is adapted to living in the tundra? Yeah it could be so let's find out. Its white feathers match the snow and camouflage the owl as it hunts for small animals like lemmings. So the snowy owl has got thick white feathers, sharp talons and good eyesight. The owl has got good eyesight for spotting its prey. It flies low over the ground and snatches the prey in its sharp talons. Wild fact, snowy owls have thick warm feathers. They even have feathers on their legs and toes. So where in the world? So snowy owls location is North America northern Europe and northern Asia and the habitat is a tundra. What do you think a tundra is like? 
so a tundra is cold, snowy and windy. Sea love and lizards. The marine iguana is a lizard from the Galapagos Islands. Its favourite food is seaweed. It scrapes seaweed off rocks with its knife sharp teeth. The sea around the island is stormy and cold but the iguana has features that help it survive. It has long claws for gripping slippery rocks and has a big flat tail for swimming. Where in the world? So the location is the Galapagos Islands, South America. And the habitat is rocky coasts which are wild, wet and cold. Wild fact, marine iguanas swallow salt from seawater when they eat. They sneeze to get rid of the salt. So let's just recap how marine iguanas are adapted. So they've got flat tails for swimming and they've also got pointed claws for gripping the slippery rocks. Hot baths. So these are the monkeys that were on the primate programme on BBC. And the, these monkeys are Japanese macaques. They live in the mountains where it's freezing cold in winter. The monkeys have a clever way of keeping warm. So what they do is they sit in pools of warm water. The water is heated by hot rocks underground. The monkeys also have thick fur to keep them warm when they get out of the water. Wild fact, sometimes they make, the monkeys make snowballs just for fun. Oh, like we do. And they're adapted by having large cheeks for storing food and thick fur. So where in the world? Can anyone remember where these monkeys are from? Yeah, so they're located in the mountains of North Japan which is Asia, and their habitat is the mountain forest, which is cold, snowy and windy. Tight squeeze. The green anaconda is a snake that can grow as long as a bus. Wow, that's huge. It lives in and around water in the tropical forests of South America. The anaconda lives in shallow water. Its eyes and nostrils are on top of its head so it can still see and breathe. It waits for an animal such as a small deer to come in for a drink. Then it pulls the animal into the water and wraps its body around it. It squeezes the prey to death and swallows it whole. So where in the world? So they're located in tropical forests in South America and their habitat are rivers, rivers and streams and they're muddy, swampy and warm. Wild fact, anacondas have dark green or yellow skin with big black spots. This camouflage hides them from their prey. So how are green anacondas adapted to living in their habitat? So they've got nostrils on top of the head and eyes on top of the head so they're able to see, to still see and breathe while they're in the water and they've also got green and black skin to help it to camouflage. Caring Dad The midwife toad from the mountains of Mallorca has a flat body it can squeeze into cracks in the rocks to hide and stay safe. The toad's habitat is very dry, but toad tadpoles need water to grow in. So after the female toad lays the eggs, the male toad wraps strings of eggs around his back legs. When the eggs are ready to hatch, he finds a puddle of water for the tadpoles to swim in. Wild fact, male toads carry the eggs for up to a month they shelter in a damp place so the eggs do not dry out. So tell me how are these toads adapted to living in their environment? Well remembered, so they've got golden coloured skin for camouflage so they don't get eaten by any predators, they can blend into their surroundings. And they've also got a flat body which helps them to squeeze into any cracks in the rocks for them to hide and stay safe. So where in the world? So they're located in Mallorca, which is Europe. Some people might have been there on holiday. And their habitat is mountains. So they're rocky, dry and steep. Antifreeze fish. The southern ocean around Antarctica is icy cold. Most fish would quickly freeze to death. But the Antarctic toothfish has special antifreeze in its body that stops ice forming in its blood. How crazy is that? This huge toothed fish is a fierce hunter. It has sharp teeth for eating fish and squid, but it has to watch out for seals and whales that like eating toothfish. 
it's got a large body that can be over two meters long that is so long it's like taller than me and it's got really sharp teeth wild fact the southern ocean is often icy under the ice the water is dark antarctic toothed fish have special eyes for seeing in the dark where in the world so their location is antarctica and the habitat is the ocean and it's freezing and stormy dragon disguise the leafy sea dragon is a fish that lives among clumps of seaweed but you need to look closely to spot it it has a yellow green body with flaps of skin so it looks like the seaweed yeah i had to really look closely i couldn't barely see it so what is this a perfect example of how is the sea dragon adapted yeah so it's got perfect camouflage doesn't it the sea dragon's camouflage hides it from other hungry fish its body is quite hard and spiky which makes it a horrible meal for any predators so wild fact the leafy sea dragons eat tiny shrimps they can suck up hundreds of shrimps with their long thin snouts so where in the world are the sea dragons they're located in the south and west coast of australia and their habitat is coast so it's rocky weedy and sunny they're adapted because they've got a long snout a yellow green body which is amazing for camouflage and a leaf like flaps of skin which is great for camouflage too that's it we finished the book you'll notice in non-fiction books that they have a glossary at the back so while we were reading the book some of the words were in bold and these words might be words that we don't use every day or they're a bit, a bit tricky or that they're quite scientific so i know as scientists we know what these words mean but if we were just a little bit unsure we could go to the glossary and we could look that word up also in non-fiction books they've got an index so say for example we wanted to find out all the animals that use camouflage so they have they're adapted by having some form of camouflage we can look and we can see what pages those animals are on or if we wanted to find out quickly where any animals are predators then we could have a look and we'll find out the page number so i hope you enjoyed listening to the book as much as I enjoyed reading it to you and I hope that you have a look at all the other videos that other teachers and myself have done and that you're keeping safe and healthy and everyone at home healthy and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.